Hey everybody, welcome back to Video Game Esoteric and our continuing series on the Mr. FPGA DE10 Nano Project. It has been two weeks since we did our last Sega Saturn testing video, so we're back to show you some more games that just work and work really well. Some of these are user requests, some of these are games I wanted to see, and some of these are just at complete random. But there's a lot of games on the Sega Saturn, and a lot of them are currently working on the Mr. Core, so we're going to be taking a look at all of those today. If you're too far involved, do me a huge favor, go down below, hit like, and subscribe, and ring that notification bell, definitely helps us out. And if you feel so inclined and want to support the channel, you got a Patreon link down below as well. But right off the top, Virtua Cop 2 is now running. There's definitely going to be some graphical glitches here and there, but otherwise, this is exactly as you would expect. Now, people keep asking me, and I leave a comment when they ask, is light gun support here for the core? And currently, it is not. Any light gun game, you're going to have to play with the controller, and if you know anything about that, you know it's not a very fun experience. But of course, I'm sure light gun support will come to the core, just like it has with every other core. And when it does, games like Virtual Cop 2 are going to be absolutely incredible to play. These are arcade classics ported over to the Sega Saturn. And while the arcade version is the better experience, that isn't anything that's going to be running on Mr. So the Saturn version is going to be where it's at. But for the most part, this is just running relatively well. The sound is definitely scratchy and hit or miss, and there are some graphical glitches, but as far as the speed of the gameplay, the aiming of the reticle, that all seems to be right on the money for what you would expect out of Virtual Cop 2. This is one of the Saturn's most well-known games alongside a couple other Sega entries. You will see every once in a while things do get a little bit squirrely though, because when these vans and police cars blow up, you're going to see they start clipping out of existence and they do come back every once in a while. That is definitely not how the Sega Saturn version runs on real hardware. There are still definitely some graphical glitches here, probably down to VDP1 handling a lot of the 3D polygonal elements. But for the most part, this is a game that is working, and on previous cores it never used to work, so it's definitely progress for the Sega Saturn core from SRG320. Now a user request is Assault Suit Linos 2. I think I'm pronouncing that right, maybe it's Linos. We'll find out in the comments, I'm sure. Leave me a comment down below and tell me if I got it right. But this is another game that is just 100% working on the current Mr. Core. The FMV intro doesn't freeze or hitch whatsoever. And once you get into the game, the sound is great. The graphics are there. It is running at full speed. It's everything you would expect out of this game. And it is quite a good game as well. I can understand why people had been requesting to see this one on the channel in the Sega Saturn test. And it's a really fun example of what the Saturn can do with just pure 2D. Obviously, you have a 2D background layer. You've got a 2D foreground layer with those trees, some parallax scrolling, and everything is basically made out of sprites. It is not pushing any polygons whatsoever, at least in this scene. And it is a great example of the power of the Sega Saturn when it comes to 2D. Because while the PlayStation 1 was definitely the more successful console, as far as 2D was concerned, the Saturn was the powerhouse out of the two. And it is great to see it running here. And that's the fun thing about these tests. Some games mix both 3D and 2D together. Some are exclusively 2D and some are exclusively 3D. And all of those different styles of games are going to use VDP1 and VDP2 and different CPU calls in different ways. So sometimes it's really fun just to kind of mix and match going from a pure 3D game like Virtual Cop 2 over to this one to really get a sense of the different things the Saturn could do. But again, if you're looking for a game to play today that just works, this is definitely one that you want to check out. Now, it's not a short game, and I have no idea if it freezes 30 to 40 minutes in. Don't expect any game on the current Sega Saturn Core to be playable from start to finish outside of Saturn Bomberman, the one game I have tested from start to finish. Now moving on to a game we tested a while ago that's gotten a lot better, Astral Superstars here is just an absolute banger of a fighting game. It is so weird and it has a lot of ties to Waku Waku 7, but Astral Superstars is just 100% great on the current core. You're going to see a little bit of interlacing and the Saturn can do that sometimes. But the speed is here, the graphics are here, the sound effects are here, and specifically the music sounds amazing. Last time I tested this, it had a lot of pops and whistles and cracks in the audio, which is still kind of common in the Sega Saturn Core. But now it is 100% sounding exactly like you would expect, and I will let you listen to it in just a moment. But trust me, if you've never played Astro Superstars before, you owe it to yourself to check it out. It's one of my favorite 2D fighting games on the Saturn. But like I said, soundtrack, 10 out of 10 amazing. Go ahead and listen, and I'll be right back. <laughs> Oh, my God. 
If there's any issue with the music there whatsoever, I cannot hear it. Some of the sound effects sound slightly muffled, but this game always had slightly muffled sound effects because it came over from the STV or Sega Titan video arcade board, which is based on Saturn hardware. So that might just be how this game is, but it's been a very long time since I played it on original hardware, so I can't remember. But leave me a comment down below and tell me if you think that sounded good or what you think could be improved. And also, if you have another viewer request, leave it in the comments. I definitely will get around to it. But don't forget, you guys asked for a lot more than I can possibly handle in a two-week period. Now, moving on to Gale Racer or Radmobile. Different name, same game. This is a game that is working, but it is not working perfectly, and you'll see in just a moment. A big thanks to Andy D for helping out with the captures here. He's been assisting me at all these Sega Saturn videos because he is also a filmmaker and has some time to spare, so a huge thanks to him. You will see, once you get into Gale Racer, all of those sprites from the left and right hand side of the screen are going to start clipping in to your field of vision. When there's not much on the left and right hand side, it is going to go away. This game is running as expected, the controls are there, the speed is there, but there seems to be some sprite issue where it is just corrupting the center of the screen. You'll see here as we get into the next scene and there's not as much on the left and right hand side of the screen, it is basically going to go away. So it's one of those games, it is working but it kind of shows the work in progress nature of the graphics on the Saturn Core. Some games look exactly as you'd expect them to, some games do not run whatsoever, and some games are in the middle where it's going to run, you're going to hear it, you're going to play it, but there's definitely going to be glitches here and there and Gale Racer is one of those games. But it is an absolutely incredible 2D sprite scaling game that did get some enhancements for the Sega Saturn. And one this is working better on the core, I'll definitely revisit it because it is an awesome experience. You'll see there all of that 2D sprite work looks good, but some of the stuff on the left right hand side of the screen just gets really messy. This is a game people wanted to see and I would say that it is playable, but you probably should wait until the next core. Now moving on to another game, a game that I can never pronounce, DX Herd? I don't know, leave me a comment down below. This never used to load on previous cores and it is now loading. It is a little bit glitchy in the loading, just wait for it, give it a few seconds, you will get in game. But once you get in game, you're going to get different mixed results. Right here, going into the first match, the minute you have control, it freezes right now. But if you reload the game and try it a second time, for some reason it is going to get into the fight. Not sure if it's character specific or if it's just a little bit of an organic result in the core, but you will see depending on when you run it, how you run it, you might get different results, which is not uncommon at this stage in the development of the core or any core. You always get weird things going on when you're working on it. But that's actually my favorite test to show you guys, the games that work but not as you would expect. Because every time I say a game runs exactly on Mr. FPGA as it would on the original Sega Saturn, that's a fun thing to say, but to show you, you really couldn't tell the difference if I showed you Saturn footage. But when games are running but not quite as expected, you do get a little bit of a look under the hood as to how these things start to form and function and what things need to be improved. Because as soon as this match ends on the second round, you'll see in just a moment, it is basically going to just sit there and not load any further. It doesn't seem like it froze, it just kind of hangs out and does nothing. Now moving on to a game that I showed previously that still looks as good as it did but has improved sound is Princess Crown. And when I say this is a deep cut hidden gem that every Sega Saturn owner should play at least once, I 100% mean it. But it's also a great example of where some games have really good audio but they have some crackles in the background. Trust me this won't hurt your ears whatsoever, it is very minimal, but go ahead and listen to this for like 45 seconds and I'll come back and show you more Saturn games. Princess Crown soundtrack sounds like it's 95% of the way there, but you can hear a little static underneath the music, and if you're not wearing headphones, it may have been almost undetectable, but throw some headphones on and you will definitely hear it. It's just an example of where the audio is for that one game. Now, a game that everyone keeps asking about is Virtual On, and unfortunately, I will say that while it does start to load, you're going to see this is not what you would expect out of the game if you're playing it on original Saturn hardware, and basically all it does is get into the now loading screen and give you a little bit of what's happening. This is going to be the first match 
match against the next enemy, and while it's flashing, it is not frozen. The minute it stops flashing, that is the game and the core freezing, and right now that is as far as Visual On goes. Next time there's a core update, we'll definitely check back in on this one. Now one game that is working and a couple people asked about is Area 51. Now this game is definitely a love it or hate it style of game. I personally think Area 51 is absolute garbage. Go ahead and leave me a comment down below and tell me I'm wrong. If you love it, I'm happy for you. I just don't like the graphical style of this game. I love light gun arcade shooters, but this one is just not for me. But I know a lot of people love it and no judgments. If you're happy, I'm happy for you. But what I will say here, as far as the sound, as far as the gameplay using a controller is concerned, as far as all of the FMV incorporating into the game on the Sega Saturn, it is 100% working on the current core. It even sounds pretty good as well. And even if this game is not for me, it is still a very fun example of a test. So I'm going to let you listen to what Area 51 sounds like, and I'll be back in like 25 seconds and show you more Sega Saturn games that work on the current core. So yeah, it sounds like Area 51, it plays like Area 51, and if you enjoy Area 51, you're going to be happy about it. And maybe I was a little cruel earlier in the voiceover, definitely I do not like this game, but it's probably not garbage, it's just not for me. But it's always fun to give you guys a little bit of a reason to leave a comment down below, engage with that algorithm, and talk a little bit of crap towards me. Now a game that people asked me that I kept revisiting was Soul Divide, and I will say that the FMV intro works as good as it ever did before. It is such a vibe on this game, and the last time I think I showed it, I think I skipped the FMV intro because that would freeze the core a lot. We've gotten a lot better here, but I will say, as this dragon flies by, I'm not sure what part of the dragon that is, but it definitely looks like it's not his torso. All jokes aside, Soul Divide is 100% working, but you will see all of these sprites have some pixelation issues there. There is a square box and a lot of their colors are showing up as little pixels alongside of them. All of the background layers look fine, all of the parallax scrolling is there, but those sprites themselves are just having a lot of issues. And that's not surprising at all, it's probably just using a different call to one of the chips on the Saturn, but you can definitely 100% play this game, get through some levels and enjoy it, and it is an absolutely awesome horizontal shmup that people were definitely asking me to check back in on. Because I think the last time I played this, it froze maybe in level 1, but it's been like 5 or 6 months since I checked it out. That's how long we have been doing these videos. If there's any other shmups you want to see retested or tested for the first time, tell me down below and I will definitely get around to adding them into a video here. And this boss is a great example of where those sprites kind of get a little strange. It is always pixels from the color of what's going on on screen. You'll see that that snake is basically just black and brown and that's all that's showing up here. A lot of the specials work perfectly fine as well so it is just those sprites that have the issue but it is a really good example of what that looks like in motion so it is a good thing just to talk about and show you. And definitely a game you can probably finish on Sega Saturn today, and if you don't own it on original hardware, it's not a cheap game either, so definitely wait for Mr. to be able to take care of it a little bit better. And just to show a full 3D game right here, Starfighter works, but this is one of the issues with the current core. There is no audio underneath this, and when it is captured, the audio on my timeline is so incredibly loud and glitchy that I think maybe you could possibly blow one of your speakers if you let it play. It might not be that bad, but if you're wearing headphones, you're definitely going to need a new pair of underwear because you're going to crap yourself when you get surprised by that sound. There's just some games on the current core that do that. That's not an issue whatsoever. It just means that something isn't coded in there. But the fact that SRG320 is still working on this, still giving us updates, and it works as good as it does right now, is absolutely spectacular. And as far as how it is drawing the 3D on screen, outside of a few glitches, it seems to be perfectly fine. And just because it doesn't look impressive doesn't mean it's the core. Starfighter was never the most visually impressive game on the Sega Saturn. And that's the thing. Sometimes things just look bad because they've looked bad on Sega Saturn. The Saturn could do 
Awesome 3D. Burning Rangers being a great example of that. But different developers had a different take on what they wanted games to look like. And this one to me has just never been the prettiest thing to look at. But it is running and it is a game that people request and you'll see a little bit of that glitching right there. But it's been so long since I played this game. That might just be in the actual Sega Saturn release. But leave me a comment down below if you're familiar with this one. Or if you're the person that requested it. Tell me if that's what it's supposed to look like. Because generally if people request games that means they enjoy them and want to see them tested on the core but you can play starfighter today i'm not sure that you want to with that audio just remember the best thing to do when you're testing this core is to keep your television at like volume one or two and then slowly increase it that way if the sound is really loud or glitchy you can just lower that volume right back down and you are good but that's the current crop of Sega Saturn testing this week. If you have any other requests, leave them down below. I love testing what you guys ask for. Makes for more fun videos. But the core is still shaping up, especially with SRG320 being in the situation he's currently in. It is hyper impressive that this works as good as it does and he's still trucking along. And hopefully with the next core update, even more games play. Short of that, like I said, and you want a game tested, leave me a comment down below. But this video is done and I'm going to play some more Sega Saturn right now. Bye bye.